Recently, entertainment giants IMG and William Morris Endeavor purchased the UFC, or as it's known to all of us, Ultimate Fighting Championship, for $4 billion. It was a big, uh, big story Billy. right there. Wow. Big story, yeah. One of the biggest transactions in the entire history of sports. Now, here's the deal. True story. I happen to be represented by William Morris Endeavor. Oh, okay? yeah. And they do, these guys do a terrific job. Thanks to them, as of this morning, I am the new spokesman for the BlackBerry and SeaWorld. So, uh, wow. Yeah. That's so, great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Good check. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, they, man, they do a bang up job. Really? <laughs> Anywho. After the UFC deal was announced, WME, William Morris Endeavor, gave some of their clients an opportunity to purchase a small ownership stake in the UFC. And I'm excited to announce that I was one of those clients. They you called really me up. You really do own a yeah. little bit. Yeah, said, yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think I have $40 worth. Wow. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I said yes, and don't, so I now, technically, I own a piece of the UFC. I am now part of a group of investors that includes Ben Affleck, Tom Brady, Mark Wahlberg, Adam Levine, Cam Newton, LL Cool J, Maria Sharapova, Serena Williams, Sylvester Stallone, just to name wow. a very few. Yeah, nice, That's nice group of people, yeah. Yeah, now, I want to say I'm very honored to be a part of this group. I really am. But I want to make something clear, okay? The main reason I bought an ownership stake in the UFC is not to just be an owner okay. and stand in the background. I bought in because I, Conan O'Brien, intend to fight in the octagon. What? And I think, yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Wow. Yes! You just saw... You guys just saw me in that segment yeah, wow. that I just did with Kevin Hart. You see what I'm packing. Right, exactly. Okay, thank you for the sarcastic wooing. No, <laughs> this is a lifelong dream of mine, and I'm told there's no better time to start fighting than middle age. Oh, it's just you're science. Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And listen, when I get in the ring, these are gonna be, I mean, yes, it, UFC's big now, mm -hmm. but when I start fighting in the octagon, right. people are gonna lose their shit. Yes. <laughs> people are gonna go crazy. For example, and this is true, it's all set up on January 5th, I will be fighting Conor McGregor. Look for wow. that fight. Yes. January 5th, New York City. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Then, a little later, on February 28th, I will be fighting Ronda Rousey. I will fight her. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Then, on May 17th, I'll be fighting fellow UFC investor Maria Sharapova. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the day after that, my memorial service will be available <laughs> exclusively on pay-per-view wow. for $89.95. You can... You can mourn at home, or you can go to your local sports bar. And mourn. And mourn. Nice. Anyway, I'm excited about this, and wait till you see what I've got under the hood. Woo! That was not appropriate. No. <laughs> when I, let's try that again. Wait till you see what I've got under the hood. <laughs> anyway, for more information, go to UFC.com. It's all very exciting, and I'm gonna die. I really am gonna die. <laughs> it looks dirty what we're doing. That's not Andy, stop it! Uh, you like that UFC? <laughs>